I want to deal with the topic entitled, Be Brave. Be Brave. All right. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13 states the following. It says this. Watch, stand fast in the faith. Be brave and be strong. Now, why does Paul say to us that we need to be brave? That's a very unusual uh, command. I understand, you know, to have the boldness to do something. But he speaks about being brave. Now, what does being brave mean? When I am brave and I'm standing and I'm being brave, it means this. Number one, that there is an opposition. Okay? There is something that is going to come and bring a fear amongst the average person. When we speak about bravery, we are talking about overcoming a fear. Okay? Whenever you say you're going to be brave, it is something that somebody's scared. It's like um, if you take your child and they need to, let's say, go for an injection of some sort. Okay? Then they're nervous of the injection. And you say, listen, be brave. Be strong. Okay? Hold on. You're going to be okay. So I need you to understand it's that context that Paul's saying this. And he's saying, listen, something is going to generate a fear against you, a potential fear against you, against Christianity, against what God has called you to do. And the worst is the fear of man. All right. The fear that Christians face the most is what is somebody going to think about this? You see me? I've had overcome this many times. Many, many times when I stand in boldness, it's one thing to be bold, it's another thing to be brave. Boldness means that I am prepared to step out. Okay, I am prepared to say what I want. Bravery is I'm prepared to go against the fear. I am prepared to go on and take on the fear that is sweeping or potentially trying to sweep over the people. You see, you have got to be very bold if the world says one thing and you come up and say, I believe the following. Now you must understand, every time you take a statement or make a statement that is contrary to the world system or to the religious folk, what do I mean by the religious folk? People who have been trained or brought up in a manner that is actually unbiblical, but we think that it's biblical. Okay? You've often heard this. Um, we've done it this way before. This is how we always do it. Okay? Now what does that mean? It means that it becomes a tradition and not necessarily a biblical principle. It's something that we picked up somewhere. Now you must know, if you stand and go against this, you are going to have to be brave because you are going to get a reaction to people on it. You are not going to be just um, being popular and being nice and everything else. You are actually going to have a reaction. And this is what I'm talking about. You need to be bold and say, God, I'm not going to worry about the fear of man. I'm not going to worry about the opinion of man. I'm not going to worry about man's idea on what I should or shouldn't be doing. But I am going to do what you've called me to do. And so I need you to understand, saints, that God is going to do something amazing and miraculous for each and every one of us. But He's looking for us to stand in boldness. And He's looking for us to be brave. When the thing comes against you that is raising up a fear, you are going to have to push back that fear and say, I'm going to be brave in this situation and I'm going to push this thing back and I'm going to see the power of God work in my life. Now, where do you need braveness? Well, it could be a report from the doctor. You might get something that said somebody's sick in your family and suddenly that fear wants to grip you. But, uh, braveness comes with any form of fear. So wherever there is fear that's wanting to come and grip your heart or come onto your family, you're going to need braveness to stand up and push it off. And this is very important. We need to stand for the truth. We need to believe God for the supernatural. We need to say, God, I thank you that you are going to do something and I'm going to be brave and I'm going to stand on your word. 
I'm going to proclaim your word no matter what that price is like. There are people that are not going to like your opinion. There are people that are going to sit down and say that you are just, you know, being super spiritual because you are not accepting the doctor's report. You are not accepting the professional's report. It's like when they started with the, this COVID story all over the world. We did not accept COVID at all. And we started to pray against it and push against it. And everybody was telling me, my, even pastors were coming against me with this. And say, how can you do that? Experts have said, now I'm finding out the experts lied. The experts lied to us. And so I want you to understand, you need to be brave when you stand up against anything that generates fear. But saints, we are going to do that in Jesus' name. So, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it and he said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take it in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take it in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. So saints, I want you to understand that God is in control. God loves us. God cares for us. But God wants us to walk in victory. Lord, we come before you on this wonderful Saturday morning. Lord, I thank you right now that you forgive us of all our sin. Any wrongdoing. Lord, anything that we've done that's out of line, I ask you please to forgive us and to wash us white as snow. But Lord, right now, I pray that we will get a revelation of what it is to be brave. Lord, that we will stand in the midst of fear. And Lord, that we will reverse it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you that we are going to move by your spirit, that we are going to do what you called us to do. And Lord, that we will see the victory. We will see your guidance and leading in everything. In Jesus' mighty name. And Father, I pray that as we take of the elements, that the Holy Spirit will come and help us to stand strong in the midst of any form of fear. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now we come before you. Lord, I release the generous power of God over our physical bodies. Thank you, Lord, that we are healed. By your stripes we were healed. And the Spirit of God that dwells inside of us quicken our mortal bodies. Thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks. It's a wonderful, wonderful Saturday morning. I want to pray for families again. All right, and I want you to know I love families. I love what God is going to do through the family unit. Father, right now we come before you. I pray for our families. Lord, I pray for health over each one of our family. Lord, I thank you that every single one of our family is healed. Lord, we speak divine healing and divine health over each one in Jesus' name. Father, we speak your blessing and prosperity. Lord, I pray that everyone in our family will hear your voice and be obedient. Lord, that you will speak to them clearly, that they will know what you want for them. And Lord, that they will do what you're telling them to do. Father, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the power of God. And Lord, I pray right now that we will never be the same. And Lord, that everything that we do will be done under the unction of your spirit. In Jesus' name, we release the blessing, anointing, and power of God over each one of our family. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, guys, I want to remind you that tonight we have got um, uh, a guest speakers on. So please get ready. And uh, so 7 o'clock tonight, we got a teaching on. And I'm going to do our declaration right now. Remember this, put your faith out in every word. Let's go. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. Supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I didn't have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with valor, and go and do what God has called you to do in Jesus' name.